Hey, good morning, buddy. It's Ronald Robert here with the Hustle Nation. Hope you're having a fantastic day. And no, we don't have our teeth in yet. So it's still early in the morning, but I got a little bit of hustle in the mug and everything. The thing that is coming to me right now is in the last seven days, I've been really looking at muscle, okay? And you can make a huge amount of revenue, which means dollars coming in. But if you've got a really bad profit margin, then it doesn't matter how much you make, you're not going to keep much of it, or it's really not going to be worth your time, so to speak. So, one of the things I started doing is getting more organized with my notes in the sense of what it is that we're going to do tomorrow and starting to look more and more at what the bottom line is, money coming in and money going out. And also, where is there that I've got revenue that's not being utilized either because of a number of different reasons. One of them is, is having to do with like, you know, I've got two properties that have been sitting for a year and a half, two years that we haven't done anything with. Now these have been fixer uppers that I bought and now I got to get that ball rolling and start getting some things lined up on those. Okay. And that's cool for this whole equation to get me to where it is that I want to be at as far as my end game goal. The other thing that's happening is, is that one of the things I enjoy doing to relax is playing No Limit Hold'em, poker. And poker is about two things. It's about math and people, okay? And the thing about it is, is that I have started keeping track of exactly every pot that I get involved with, how much money it cost me, and did I make anything off of it, okay? Because I'm trying to figure out where there's some leaks in my game. And the best players that I meet, the people that are pros that do this for a living day in and day out, and I don't have that desire. I, I, I enjoy the game, and I, the relaxing part for me comes because I'm focused. I'm not worried about this. I'm not worried about employees. I'm not worried about evictions. I'm not worried about rent. I'm not worried about dividends. I'm worried about what's going on right then and there with the table, okay? And... What ends up happening is, is that that relaxes me because of that single-minded focus of what's going on right there in front of me. And it's also challenging, and sometimes it's, you know, rewarding financially also. I've noticed that with me keeping track, I'm watching a couple of things. One, I'm watching the people, what their chip stack is, and what it is that I have to call to get involved with them and what's the potential on how much that I can win from them, okay? So that's, that's huge. one, all right? The other thing is, is that how much does it cost me? Like last night, I went through, played for a couple hours, and um, it, I lost or I got involved for $250 in different pots that split up different amounts and everything. Like Nothing that. came from those pots, and that was $250. And so... I go back and I analyze and ask myself, well, what is it that I can do differently? How many more people need to be in a pot for this to become advantageous for me to make this call or get involved and take a look at it? Just the same as, okay, well, if you got two dump trailers and you got three bookings each week, how much money can you expect to make? Yada, yada, all that kind of stuff. So there's a correlation and it does relate. The other thing that I'm finding is, is that I'm playing better and I'm really watching my chips, my money and where we play at, they have, um, it's, uh, basically $60 to 300. Okay. And every now and then they'll get what we call a no max game, which you can buy in for any amount. But otherwise it's going to be capped at 300. So that means that if you lose your stack, you buy in again for 300 you can make that up. But once you get to the point where you lose $600, it's extremely hard to get that back, okay? So not only do you have to watch all these other things, you also have to manage your bankroll in the sense that because, you know, if you lose 600 it's not like you can buy in for 600 and then be able to win it all back in one hand. You're going to have to grind. After 600 you're really going to have to grind. And sometimes the cards just don't fall your way. And here's the thing about poker is, unlike any other profession in the world, you can do it absolutely perfect and still lose money. There is an element of luck that is involved. However, over the long run, the math should 
even things out, and if you play correctly, be a winning lifetime player. My word to you today is watch your numbers. Look at it, what you can do differently, because even though you might not have $10 coming in, if you're saving $10, that's $10 more that's going to be in the bank account to help you get to financial freedom and figuring out where you want to go, retirement, what you want to do. So have yourself a very wonderful day. It's Reynolds Robert with the Hustle Nation. We're all about some financial independence. Have a phenomenal day.